So here's one of those times when you're looking for a solution and you're looking at 101 apps and nothing is just pulling together for you. Now I'm talking about working on the mobile device, not necessarily going on to the desktop because there I can get your DaVinci Resolve, the video editing softwares, etc. I was just looking for a quick app. I started off with KineMaster and image video stabilization and whole lot of others, but they weren't really doing it for me. And then I came across the Google Photos one. So it's a feature just inside of Google Photos. I got quite excited because it's a simple one click scenario and I wanted to show it. I want to show it to you so you can just check it out. Um, so this was a video I took of um, a place called Sun City and it was handheld. I didn't have a gimbal with so you know, the camera was jumping all over the place. So I just wanted to stabilize it because I thought this was a lovely scene to include in a little promo video. So this is how you do it. Uh, I'm going to just take the, the video and let me just stop it there, pause it. If you tap the video at the bottom you see share, edit and delete. Uh, you tap on edit and then what it will do is it will download this video. Now I've already downloaded off Google Photos onto my device. So it automatically does that. It doesn't do the processing in the cloud, it pulls it down on your device. And once you process it, you can save that process stabilized image. But I want you to check something out. Okay, it by default is on video at the bottom. If you see here, there's a speaker and next to that, there's a square with another screen. And that is the video stabilization button. And it's a single button. So if you're wanting highly sophisticated tracking and stabilization then you can take it into those other programs this is a one-click solution and i think it's done incredibly um, and then you can export a frame which is like a frame capture i'm going to just pop through each of these so you at least get an idea with crop you can do the usual adjust you can do brightness contrast saturation and all that sort of stuff filters those are kind of presets and then markup you can do pen marks highlights etc on that so when it comes to video, um, let me just see if you can do this. If I grab, yeah, you can actually trim the video also. So that is quite phenomenal. Okay, so we're going to just take it all the way to the edge. So you can also trim the video and check and play through it. That's incredible. And this is all part of uh, Google Photos. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just play it from a part and you can see the the handshake is on it. Uh, as we walk through there, let's just see what we have. Okay, so you can see quite a bit of it. Really at the start it's also quite obvious when you see it sort of not very stable, there's a little shape on it. So let's process this now and I'm going to do it in real time so the video will run. I'm going to click next to the speaker button on the left there, I'm going to click that stabilization button. Let's tap that. So it's doing the stabilization. Now I think it's probably doing a bit of AI that is linked into the cloud. You know, because today's world, uh, everything has a link into uh, heavier processes offline. Because if you're depending on your mobile device, it's going to take forever. So I noticed that some of the other stabilizing softwares that you have in the App Store they kind of start the process and they take forever because I think they're trying to do it locally on the device where my assumption is with this setup it's AI that is linked into the cloud so it's sending probably keyframes up and doing whatever modification um, but I assume you've got to have a decent internet connection I don't have a very fast one here mine is a 50 megabit I don't need much more than that for my role okay so let's just watch here I'm going to play it Check this out. Isn't this cool? You know, you might you might have a little bit of kind of walking back at the edges in certain areas, but to 99% of people that need a stabilization for the footage that I just showed you, look at this. Really, really, really cool. Okay, then uh, once you're happy with it, you click at the bottom here, save copy. And that's it. What it does now, it saves it and it saves it to your device. And that's pretty much it. A one click button solution. So I'd recommend this if you are doing your story there. We see we can watch the video through. If you are doing your videos on your phone, 
recording them. Um, and you maybe have a handout set up and you want to stabilize. This is an incredible way to do it. Uh, if I'd just learned this much earlier, I'd have really have been excited. But ne never, what do they say? Uh, better late than never. So this is cool. I'm really excited about it. Well done, Google. And your setup here is for stabilization work. Everybody, hopefully you start to use this tool a little bit more uh, than uh, I have been. Have a fantastic day and follow.